now the bulk uh, rock samples. Uh, these are the ones that they'll put in a bag and then into the box, the vacuum box. That looks like the... Uh, looks sort of like the core they drive down in, doesn't it, Noah? Can't really tell. Yeah, 
Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the limit. That flag is on a frame. There is no wind to hold it uh, out like that, of course. The, it's a three by five flag, and it's, a, it's, got a, it's got a frame of its own to hold it out. Nothing more really is needed here, but it does seem that there ought to be some music. <laughs> Very good. Lightly, he moves back. I think they're taking pictures of each other with a house of light camera. Yep. Exactly what they're doing. The first tourists on the moon. From their description, it sounds like some place we might want to go after all. Aldrin called it magnificent desolation, Armstrong stark beauty all its own. Different from the United States desert, but very pretty out here. As you said, Wally, the first kind words about the moon from 69 miles up or even 10 miles up is Apollo 10. They didn't think it was so pretty. These fellows on the surface think that there's something about it. Neil, this is Houston Radio Check over. Maybe they think of it not so pretty, but it's their own. Roger, Houston, lines are clear. Roger, lines are clear, Houston. Roger, Buzz. Well, I like the idea of not claiming it, but I think they can claim it for now, at least. <laughs> That's right, it's theirs today. They can't claim it under the Declaration of the United Nations, the United Nations Resolution, which uh, we all agreed to, that we would not claim the moon or use it for military purposes. So this planting of a flag is not the old... Uh, uh, 16th, 15th, 16th, 17th century business of planting a flag and claiming territory. It's to put the United States flag there to let the world know that we're there. To sense the pride the American people feel in this tremendous accomplishment and the contribution like they've made to it. the uh, various places that a person can traveling on the list.
moment in the whole history of man all the people on this earth are truly one one in their pride in what you have done and one in our prayers that you will return safely to earth and I look forward, all of us look forward to seeing you on the Hornet on Thursday. Splashdown should be on Thursday, 1,250 miles Columbia, southwest Columbia, of the Pacific, back to Honolulu, Hawaii in the Pacific.